Mayor, can you stop for a moment? We are going to stop at the bottom of the steps. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got to tell you that this has been and this has been and is an incredible moment in terms of a terrible tragedy for Barbara. The verdict, frankly, was that the, the lack of a better, better word, the, the, the verdict that is somewhat inexplicable uh, was really not expected by anybody. So until we have a chance to process it, Barbara is real, and her children, their only thing they're going to do is to go home and be together. Michael, we go way back, and, and yeah. I understand what you're saying. And I think Barbara and the children understand that with all the focus on this and given this extraordinary verdict, just a few words to hear from Barbara at this moment. Now, I know you're trying to put her on the spot. Not trying to, like, anything down the road involving the judge later. No, it doesn't involve the judge. I mean, and that's not the issue. It, it's, it's taking time for Barbara to process this. You can let her say a quick moment how she, she feels talk right about now. How she feels that's it. Well, it's it's now, now, you know, I think, I think the only thing she can say, and I'll say it for her, is she needs time with her children. And that's and our family, and that's all. Well, Michael, can we hear, have say you that? hear her say that? Then? I'm saying it. Barbara, Sorry, can I can't do that? more for you. <laughs> Does that look on your face? No, <laughs> no. Which I think what Barbara's saying is that I Michael? will speak for her. Michael, she can say that. Certainly, she can talk really? about her after emotional all state. No, she's after not. Three and a half years. No, she's not, because you know the terms, and the terms are that she'd be back next Wednesday morning. It's a very complicated verdict that we have to think about and consider. I don't want to pick that apart. Just a moment of how... Sorry. Right she was found feels. not guilty of murder. We want to hear how she feels about that. You it's know, I can tell Michael, you this. Michael, it's an honest question. We don't have anything up our sleeve, okay. really. I can tell you that there's no question that certainly as to the, the murder charge and certainly as to the uh, first count of possession of a weapon... The relief you saw in the courtroom when she just immediately broke down. But I'm asking you in decency, in decency to her for what she's gone through, let her be with her family because these are incredibly unusual circumstances. She's not going to say anything, and I want her to be with Raymond and Jennifer at peace. You're not going to appeal the, the uh, murder charge verdict part, are you? So why can't she uh, talk about that? <laughs> because I, I have to... Pro and you know what? I'll let you in on a scoop. Her lawyer has to process what happened. Uh, because that was completely... That was completely unexpected. Can you explain what happened? I mean, for our viewers who don't understand that two charges of not guilty and the one of guilty. Let me ex try to explain. I, I, the answer is, I don't know. Mike, I mean, focusing on the family, right? what the what the what happened was that she was found not guilty of the murder charge. Our defense of the murder charge was justification, self-defense. She was found not guilty of the one gun charge involving the 38. I don't know how then she was found guilty in respect to the second gun. You know, it, my gut, but it's just not enough, would say sounds like a little compromise to get a couple of people across the great divide. But I don't know that. And and so not knowing it, she, she's just, just, you know, she's She's done everything. She's endured 17 years and three and a half more years of almost an unbearable kind of pressure. <laughs> Leave her alone today. But these